Let's talk about Bajaj Auto, a stellar set once again being reported by the auto major where in this time around for the very first time the company has surpassed that 2000 crore mark when it comes to their quarterly EBITDA figure and a surprise coming in on the margin figure because that was the key number that we were watching out for. The ET now estimates said 19.4% is what we were expecting onto the margin figure but going ahead the company has uh, come, out, uh, come out with a margin figure of 19.7% and that's definitely a beat onto the margin figure. The EBITDA number has uh, come in above the R estimates as well. 2133 crores is what the company has reported on. Also, the top line is in line to our estimates at 10,777 crore, but a beat onto the bottom line as well. A profit figure of 1,836 crores is what the company has reported versus our estimates of 1,771 crores. So, a great set by Bajaj Auto yet again. And other than that, what the company is saying that um, their exports stay on the course to make a gradual recovery because sequentially we have seen an 8% jump coming in on that front. The domestic business registers a new peak, the landmark quarter for a three-wheeler this time around and Chetap expansion making steady progress. But some of the new offerings of Bajaj Auto, they have shared an update wherein Triumph Speed 400 initiated in August met with very enthusiastic customer feedback. That's 8,000 plus units in quarter two is what the company has reported. And uh, definitely we will watch out for more numbers on that front. But the market expansion what led to that the company just say that richer product mix uh, which was more uh, covered the drag arising from the investment on the growing electric scooters as well as better realization so better realization and richer product mix clearly the two factors emerging which has pushed the margins of the company while the company continues to make its investment in the electric scooter so that was the first cut but let's try and find out how are our experts took like, looking at the numbers of Jaj Auto with this. Let me welcome two of our uh, guests onto the show. We are being joined by Aditya Velekar of Access Securities. Hi Aditya. Um, if you happen to go through the numbers then definitely a surprise coming in onto the margin figure. How are you seeing the numbers and um, uh, what is something that you will be watching out on the management commentary? Yeah, hi. So yes, margins are definitely the preliminary uh, numbers indicates that the EBITDA numbers are stood up well and uh, it's a two percent beat against our estimate so we were expecting uh 2090 crores of ibita and the numbers have come better than that so we we can see a slight improvement uh slight decline in the personal cost and there was uh, a lower uh, raw material consumption cost so definitely ibita margin uh, we were expecting 19.4 percent, but that has come, uh, that has surpassed our expectation with 19.7 percent margins. So a good set of numbers. Uh, top line is largely in line with our estimates. Uh, there is a beat on EBITDA and beat on uh, profit after tax. So uh, a good set of numbers, I'll say. Okay, good set by Bajaj Auto, definitely above the uh, estimates of Aditya as well. But Aditya, is this a positive read-through for all the rest of two-wheeler companies as well? Because that's what we see happening in Q1, wherein uh, majorly across all the companies have surprised onto the margin figure. So Bajaj Auto uh, taking the lamp ahead, do you believe that uh, companies like Hero Motor Corp, TVS Motors, there could be a surprise onto the margin figure? Is that something that investors now should I out for? Yeah, so gross margin was always on the cards. So this quarter was uh, a theme based on gross margins because uh, as compared to, means the commodity prices have come down and uh, those prices are going to get reflected in this quarter. And uh, with the uh, ramp up in the volumes, the operating leverage would have been played out. So Bajaj uh, gross margin seems to have uh, worked out well. And that has reflected in its EBITDA margin. So I think uh, similar story we are expecting for other two-wheeler OEMs. We are ex we are expecting gross margin improvement across OEMs. Uh, there might be some miss or hits here and there, but uh, largely the gross margin story growth uh, growth of gross margin that story will continue. I guess after seeing these results.